the swim team in the building. I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squad, first off, y'all see the y'all see the Nipsey Hustle fit, man. Shout out to my boy Hal Cough. And 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 you know what I'm saying? But anyway, what the hell you drive? She about to do a drive by? Why she driving so goddamn dumb? Oh Alright, the plan was to do the story time in the car, but it's hot as hell. Oh my god, yo, oh, the seats, the seats burning my goddamn back. Bro. Oh. Oh, bro, it's too hot for this. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn the camera. Look, the camera's steaming, huh? The camera's steaming. Yeah, we're gonna have to, um, we have a technical difficulties. The camera is really steaming right now. Don't be no set. That best ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Don't even get down for the bread. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, let him sleep. Yeah, call it plot. Cut me some bar for the week. Who's who smoking that trash? We smoking that gas. All right, so in today's video, I got a story time about um, basically me and Danae was supposed to be on a show on MTV. You know, since I've been doing YouTube. I've had a lot of missed opportunities and a lot of, you know, opportunities that I was able to capitalize on. And the show on MTV was probably one of the missed opportunities. It was another, it was another show that we were supposed to be on too, but I'm going to tell y'all why I'm about to tell y'all the story time. This morning I woke up and I was checking my emails and I got a, I got an email from, um, I don't know if it was the same producers because it did say they're from Manchester. There's another show that they have going on right now and they were looking for applicants. And the show is basically for couples who wouldn't mind having like a second girlfriend or a single woman who wouldn't mind being in a polygamous relationship. Now you remember we had the story time and we was just talking about polygamy and we always be talking about polygamy or whatever, which you know, I'm. I'm 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 good on that. I, I feel as though I'm good on that, bro. Like I can't having two women, bro. That's 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 extra headache. I'm gonna be real with you. But anyway, let me tell y'all about the the missed opportunity with the show on MTV. It's a prank video that I had put up like two years ago, and basically the prank was I told the man that the waitress that that helped us, me and her used to date. Now the reason why the prank was so like successful and the way that the prank was set up, I actually didn't plan to do the prank, but it just the prank just fell in my lap. I'm gonna be real with you, the prank literally just fell in my lap. So around that time, I had got my wisdom tooth pulled out, right? And you know when you get your wisdom tooth pulled out, they they put you on them. They they put you on them on them. You know, you, you start talking crazy, you, you're not yourself. Well, well, actually, I think you're your true self. I'm going to say that. You're your true self with no limitations. So Greg had to, my boy Greg, he picked me up from the, um, from the dentist's office. And we ended up, you know, we drove around for a little bit until I started feeling a little better. I'm taking that. Don't do that. I'm taking that. Don't speed up. What's wrong with you? Don't do not. People need to stop trying to violate the Camry like we don't have a little bit of horsepower on there. But anyway, <clears throat> we drove around for a little bit. I started feeling better and we went to this Caribbean restaurant, right? And we was there and you know, the waitress, I was just talking my, my stuff, bro. Cause you know, I was still on And the waitress thought I was funny as hell. So I know that's why she probably remembered me, right? I was I was talking my stuff. So I ended up getting, uh, um chicken patties I ended up getting some chicken patties or whatever chicken patties with a roti skin and that was it so now two days later me and Danae went back to the same restaurant and the same waitress ended up helping us so she's like hey how you doing you feeling better I was like yeah I'm feeling good or whatever she, you know she said hi to Danae it wasn't like you know I, I feel as though like I said, she remembered me because I was off the them, 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 them medical stuff that they gave me. So she was like, all right, well, do you want the same thing you had? Do you want the usual? That's what she said. She said, you want the usual? 
So when she said that, that I red flag started going off in the head. Red flag started going up, right? So I got my food and we driving back home and Danae like, oh, so um, you want the usual? Like how she know what the usual is? What's going on? You, you got something to tell me, RJ? You got something to tell me? I was like, no, son, like, I don't know her. You know, she was she was in her feelings or whatever. So now the next day, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a few of y'all seen this video, bro, but the next day she in the kitchen and she, uh, no, I was in the kitchen, I was washing dishes. That's how I set the prank up. I set the camera up right by the sink or whatever. And we were, I'm washing dishes and she coming in. I was like, you know what, babe? I got something to tell you. I'm tired of holding this back. She's like, what? I was like, you remember that waitress when we went to the restaurant? She's like, yeah. I was like, man, she was one of my joints from back in the day. <laughs> I don't know who told me to tell her that, but she was upset. <laughs> Needless to say, she was very, very, very upset. And she put hands on me. She put hands on me. Now, the video wasn't... The video didn't get a whole bunch of views, but the right people saw it. So, last year, I got an email from a producer from um, MTV. And she basically was saying how she saw the video. First, she hit me up on, on my email. I didn't respond because, you know, I don't be checking my emails like that. Then she hit me up on Instagram. You know, if the person don't follow you or whatever, like, it goes straight to, I, it's not spam. It, it, I guess it goes to spam until you, you accept the message. So I'm going through my messages because I used to get a lot of messages at the time. And I see that message, and she's like, oh, check your email, check your email, check your email. I'm like, okay. She sent, like, three messages to tell me to check my email. So I checked my email, and I read what she was saying. And basically, they, they had a show. It was, like, a show about prank videos and stuff like that. And she saw, like, she said that she think that the prank that me and Danae had could win because it was, like, a genuine prank. It was a genuine, like, relationship whatever and she loved the response that Danae gave and she just she just loved the general setup of the prank and I was like oh okay well I'm with that you know I'm I agree with it and she said the terms of everything um we'd have to fly out to New York and we to tape and then um we probably had to fly out to New York twice to tape and the winner of the the whole thing get like some money i'm not gonna tell you how much money it was but the winner of the whole thing would get some money and i was like oh when she when, you know when she throw that money out there i was like okay well shoot i'm with it so she spoke to me then she spoke to denea and you know we was waiting on the second phone call but i don't know what happened i don't i feel as though the show might have got canceled because i knew like she was working on other shows too so i feel as though that show actually got canceled and you know that that was that. But we were supposed to be on MTV, son. It was another show. It was another opportunity too. It was another opportunity. The other opportunity was a show that like somebody wanted me to host. Somebody wanted me to host. They wanted me to um, audition to be a host of a show. I don't know if it was like a a TV one show or a VH1 show, but they said that my personality matched up. And I'll, I'll probably be a very successful host. And I don't know what happened to that. I'm still waiting on the response from that. Because, you know, listen, I don't really be responding until they start throwing out the, the price numbers. Well, actually, I respond, but I get very excited when they start throwing out, you know, the, the price numbers, the, the payment. And the, the money they was talking about for that one, I was like, oh, Lord, Jesus. That is life changing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'll probably be the next Nick Cannon. I wouldn't care. Call me corny, but... The people who know, y'all know. Y'all know what time it is. But I probably would have been the next Nick Cannon, son. Huh? So that, you know, that's what really transpired. And I, be I believe the MTV show got canceled. So that's why I didn't hear from the producer again. But maybe she might have threw some, um, she might have threw the word in. And that's why I got this other email. Hold on. I'm going I'm to read this other email. Because I'm pretty sure it's a few of y'all that might be interested in this. So, hi guys. I hope you are well. Gobstopper TV are casting for a new brand new, for a brand new TV show. 
which is an independent production company based in New York and Manchester that produces ambitious and in, who inventive and always entertaining content worth sharing. We are currently casting for real people, not actors across the whole of America. The program we are casting for will be exploring pure, plural marriage. An argument that may not be for everyone, but for many Americans, it is the foundation of their love and happy union. We would like to talk to both couples and pure marriages and single women who are curious and open to become a part of a polygamous family. Our research has confirmed both the couples and single women will come from all walks of life, irrespective of occupation, gender, age, race, color, religion, disability, ancestry, or sexual orientation. As a result, we are casted in nef the net wide to allow people to apply please see our casting flyer attached now you know a little about the project i was wondering if you would be interested in assisting in the casting process so basically they want me to um like how i'm telling y'all about the casting process they want me to do that this could involve posting the attached casting call on your social media accounts like facebook twitter and instagram displaying the casting call on your website in bulletins or you know a single woman a pro couple whom you could recommend to contact me for information. There will be a selection process, so we're asking for anyone interested to contact us directly. But there is no commitment at this early stage. We assure you that we take our duty of care to our contributors very serious, and there will be many talks with the team here before individuals are asked to take part. It's very easy for any couples or individuals to apply to our online form, googlestopcasting.com. Blah, blah blah but i think this is the this is the producer so yeah this is the this is the producer that that hit me up about the show on mtv so if any of y'all are interested man go ahead yo go ahead and 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 you know shoot if you a single woman you get paid to go on tv you don't even gotta like like the dude man i know i'm not doing it i feel as though that's why she she sent it because I, I know she looked at our other videos and that's probably why she sent it, but I'm not, I'm not applying for that. I'm good. I'm good over that. Good. Don't be no set. That best ain't for the head. Y'all rats up cheese. Really don't get down for the bread. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Let him sleep. Yeah. Call it plot. Cut me some bar for the week. Who's, who's smoking that trash? We smoking that gas.